What's up, everybody? I'm Jared. And I'm Austin. And we're coming at you with a Fit Friday. Friday. It's Friday, and we're ready to get fit today. We're ready to get our blood pumping, get a nice little workout on this beautiful Friday fall afternoon. So today, what we're gonna do is a lower body or leg workout today. It's leg day on this Fit Friday. Are you excited, Austin? I'm pumped, let's well, go for it. Let's do it. So today, we're gonna start out with a little bit of a warm up, and then we're gonna do four exercises, and then we're gonna do a little bit of a cool down after that, so we're gonna get Going, it's gonna be a shorter video today, but it's gonna be jam packed with some power, okay? Let's do it. So, we'll get right into it with our warm up. The first exercise that we're gonna do for our warm up is some high knee marches, okay? That's what we call them high knee marches. So, this is what I need everybody to do. You're gonna stand and you're gonna put your elbows at your sides and your hands facing out forward. Your palms should be facing the ground, okay? Right at about your hip level. Okay, and now what you're gonna do is you're gonna, we're gonna march together, and what you're gonna do is you're gonna try to lift your knee to touch the palm of your hand with each march. So let's try that, okay? We'll go start with our, we'll start with one leg, and go up, touch it with your hand, and down. And then we'll start up, touch with the other, and go down. Up, and down. Up, and down. Good, okay, so that looks pretty good. Ready? We're gonna start with our marches, get our blood pumping a little bit. Here we go. We're gonna do 30 of them. So 30 of them, 15 with each leg. We'll take a little bit of a break and then we'll do 30 more. All right, here we go, ready? Three, two, one, up and down. Up and down, up and down. That's three, four, and five, and six, and seven, and eight, and nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, halfway there, let's go. Should be starting to feel it a little bit in the front of your legs here. And 18, 19, 20, 10 more, here we go. 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, Three, two, one, good job. Okay, so we got the movement down a little bit. Shake it out, shake out your legs a little bit. Make sure you're feeling, maybe do a little bit of some hops here. Hop up and down. All right, we're gonna go for round two here of our warm up. all right? We're gonna go a little bit faster though this time. And I, I believe, I believe that you can keep up with us, all right? If you can't, if you need to go a little bit slower and you don't reach 30 all the way, that's all right. The important thing is we're getting our quads, the front parts of our legs, those are called our quad muscles. We're getting those warmed up and ready for our workout, okay? So everybody, elbows in, hands out, palms facing the floor, and here we go. We're going a little bit faster, ready? Three, two, one, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 10 more. Come on, here we go. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Wow, good job, everybody. Very, very good. We got our legs warmed up, so now we got the blood pumping in our legs. So now we're just gonna stretch it out a little bit, okay? So the first stretch we're gonna do is a toe touch stretch. So. The important thing here is we wanna keep our legs straight and we're gonna bend right at the hip. And as we bend at the hip, you should start to feel a little bit of a stretch on the back of your legs, which is the muscle called the hamstrings. So we're gonna, this is a hamstring stretch. So we're gonna put our feet together, toes pointed forward, and we're gonna keep our legs straight and we're gonna go as deep as we can. Try to touch your toes. If you can't reach all the way, that's okay. The important thing is feeling a little bit of stretch on the back leg, okay? And we're gonna hold that stretch for 15 seconds, okay? All right, here we go. Everybody down as far as you can. Ready? And one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. Good job, all right, very good. Again, shake it out a little bit. Shake it out. All right, this next stretch we're gonna do 
is called the quad stretch. Remember, the quads are the muscles on the front part of your legs, kind of near the hips, between the hips and the knees. That's your quad muscles. So now, either you need to find a partner for this stretch, just like my buddy Austin here, or, hey, what's up, y'all? or we need a wall, okay? Something to hold on to, because we're gonna balance on one leg while we do this stretch. So, I'm gonna use my buddy Austin here. We're gonna use each other, and we're gonna lift our right leg up, and as we lift up our right leg, then we're using each other to balance. But as we lift up our right leg, we're, the goal is to try to make your heel touch your butt and keep your knees in line with one another. And you should be feeling a stretch down that front part of your leg, the quad muscle, okay? We're gonna hold this stretch for 15 seconds with each leg, ready? Three, two, one, feet up, and one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. All right, good job. Okay, and now we're gonna switch sides. We're not gonna switch sides here. And we're gonna go for the other leg, okay? Ready? And up. Ready? Three, two, one. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. Way to go, you guys. Good job. All right, we are stretched and ready to go. Awesome, you feeling stretched here? I feel good. Feeling Let's good? Let's rock and roll. Let's rock and roll. You heard, it, you heard it here. We're rocking and rolling today. Okay, so our first exercise that we're gonna do as a part of our leg workout is called a squat, okay? So I know some of you guys have been watching our videos for a while, you know what a squat is, but maybe there's some other people that don't know what a squat is. So we're just gonna go over the basics real quick here, okay? So I'm gonna show you from a side view first. So we have our feet flat on the ground, and we're gonna wanna keep our feet flat on the ground the whole time. Our toes are gonna be pointed forward, okay? And then what we're gonna do is we're gonna bend at the knee and also bend at the hip at the same time, okay? But our chest is gonna stay, try to stay straight, try to stay flat, and our head, we're gonna keep our eyes up, okay? Keep our eyes up, maybe looking at the ceiling or a little bit or straight in front of you, whichever you prefer, okay? So as we bend our knees and bend our hips, we're going down like this. You should go for about a 90 degree angle between your hips and your knees here, 90 degree angle. And as you're down like this, you remember you have a flat back, your chest is up or straight, your arms are gonna go out forward like this, okay? And if you look, you can see my knees do not go past my toes. So we wanna keep our knees over our toes when this. We don't wanna lean out forward like this or take our heels off the ground. That's not what we wanna do. We wanna keep our feet on the ground, keep our knees in line with our toes, and this is the down position, right? And then from here, all we're gonna do is stand straight up. And that's one repetition. So we're going down slowly and straight up. Look, watch, also notice here how my hips, I'm pointing my hips back toward the wall or toward Austin and then coming straight up, okay? So you wanna push your hips back, sit down almost like you're sitting on a chair and then you go straight up. So that's, that's one, so that's our squat exercise. Okay, the second one that we are gonna be doing today is a side lunge. So the side lunges, are kind of similar to a squat, except we have, we're gonna put our feet out wide with our toes pointed forward. Our chest is gonna stay straight. You should almost make like an upside down Y with your body, okay? An upside down Y. And all we're gonna do is we're gonna lean to the right and then lean to the left and bend our knee. So when I lean to, when I lean this way, I'm bending that knee but look, my other leg is staying straight and my other foot is staying on the ground, staying flat on the ground. So I don't, wanna, I don't want my foot to go like this and I don't want my knee to bend inward. I wanna keep it straight and my foot on the ground when I lean to the right. So I lean to the right and bend my one knee and then I go back to the middle. And then I'm gonna lean the other way and bend this knee, keep this leg straight and that leg on the ground and then I'm gonna come up as well. And so we'll do a series of those as well. I'll let you know how many repetitions when we actually get into it. So we go one and two. 
Okay, so that's our side lunge. The next exercise we have is called a good morning. Good morning pose. I know you might be watching this, it might be the afternoon at this time, but this exercise is still gonna be the called the good morning. If you wanna call it the good afternoon, have at it, it's okay. All right, so with the good morning, we're gonna put our feet shoulder width apart, our toes pointed forward, and we're actually gonna put our hands behind our head for this one. So you can rest them behind your head, all right? That's what it looks like from the front. I'm gonna show you from the side, just so we can make sure we keep our mechanics good, okay? We can make sure we're doing the exercise right. So, feet pointed forward, hands behind our head. All we're gonna do, we're gonna have a slight bend in our knees, and what we're gonna do is we're gonna bend at our hips. And as we bend at our hips, we should feel a little bit of a stretch, kind of like with our toe touch. You should feel a little bit of stretch in the hamstring or the back of your leg, the muscles on the back of your leg. And then as you come up, you're gonna wanna squeeze your butt muscles and come up like this. So all it does is go, you go down and up like that. Down and up, okay. So we're going down and up. But the important thing is when you go down, you wanna keep your back flat. Almost like you're balancing some books on your back or maybe somebody put a plate of food on your back, you wanna be able to balance it. So keep your back flat, don't arch it like this. We wanna keep our back flat and that's gonna take some core muscles or the, the muscles in your belly. So you're gonna to wanna to tense those muscles almost like you're about to get punched or something in the stomach. So you're down like this and then you're coming up. Okay, and so that's one. That would be one repetition is when you go down and go up. So that's our good mornings. The last exercise we're gonna do in our workout today is called a calf raise. Now this is by far the easiest one. So we're gonna have our feet shoulder width apart, pointing, toes pointing straight forward. Our body is just gonna stay straight. And the only thing we're gonna do is we're gonna go up on our toes and then back down. Up on our toes and back down. Up on our toes and back down. Those are called calf raises. And you should start to feel a little bit of a burn in your calf muscles, which are the lower leg, the back of your lower leg like the back of your shins. Those are the muscles on the back of your shins. If these are too easy for you, you could grab a book or something. You could grab a book and put that book underneath your foot. I'm gonna grab one myself right here. So you could take a book like this, you could set it on the ground, and then you could put the front part of your feet on the book, and then go up on your toes on the book, and then back down to the ground that will make the workout a little bit harder and get you'll get more out of your workout with those with that modification there, okay? All right, so that's our calf raises. So those are our four exercises we're gonna do today. The squat, and then we're doing the side lunge, and then we're doing the good morning, and lastly, we're doing the calf raises. Okay, so we're gonna do 10 reps of each of those, and when we do side lunges, we're gonna do 10 with each leg, okay? So first, let's start with the squat. So everybody get in your squat position. Feet out wide, toes pointing forward. Here we go. I'm, Austin's gonna do it forward. I'm gonna do it sideways, just so that we can get, make sure we're doing it we're correctly and having the right form. Okay, so we're gonna go 10, ready? Here we go, three, two, one, one, up, down, two, down, three, down, four, down, five, down, and six, down, and seven, down, eight, down, nine, last one. Good job, all right, here we go. Now we're doing our side lunges. So everybody put your feet out wide, make that upside down wide with your body. Here we go, remember to keep the opposite foot straight and the opposite, or the opposite leg straight and the opposite foot on the ground, okay? And now we're gonna go to the right and to the left, okay? All right, here we go. 10 with each leg, here we go, ready? Three, two, one. One, two, I'm gonna count to 20, but really we're doing 10 with each leg, okay? Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 
12, keep that back straight, that chest up, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, last one, here we go, 20, good job. All right, everybody, shake it out a little bit, take a little bit of rest. Are you feeling it, Austin? Starting to feel it. Starting to feel it. We're getting a good workout here on this Friday, all right? Next exercise we're going into is called the good morning pose. So we're gonna do 10 of these good morning exercises, 10 reps of the good morning workout, okay? So here we go. Everybody in the good morning position. Austin's gonna do it forward again. I'm gonna do it sideways. Make sure we have proper form here. Feet shoulder width apart, toes pointed forward, slight bend in your knee, hands behind your head, and here we go. Ready? We're doing 10 good mornings. Remember, we're just bending at the hip. That's the only thing we should be bending at, and you should be feeling that stretch on the back of your legs, and then squeeze those butt muscles when you come back up, okay? Ready? Here we go. Hands behind your head. Three, two, one. Here we go. One, two, three, down, up, four, down, up, five, down, up, six, down, up, seven, down, up, eight, two more, here we go, nine, down, up, last one, 10, down, up. All right, good job, everybody. Woo, I was feeling that stretch on the back oh, of my yeah. legs there. That was a good one, okay. Last one for today. Last one for today is called our calf raises. So we're doing 10 reps of the calf raises. And one rep, just a reminder, one rep is when we go up on our toes and then down, that's one, okay? So everybody, we have our feet shoulder width apart here, toes pointed forward. Austin's gonna do it forward again, I'm gonna do it sideways. Okay, are we ready? This is our last workout for today. All right, here we go, ready? Three, two, one, ready, up. Down, one, up, down, two, up, down, three, up, down, four, up, down, five, up, down, six, up, down, seven, up, down, eight, up, down, nine, up, down, 10. Good job, good job, good job. Good job, everybody. That was awesome. Now, here's the thing. If you want an extra challenge, if you want an extra workout on this Friday, you can run through, the, I challenge you to run through this video one more time. So to do all four of those exercises one more time. We're not gonna do it on the video right now, but you, that is your Fit Friday challenge. Go through the entire exercise one more time. All right, so now we're gonna go through our cool down today. So our cool down is gonna start with just a little bit of a jog in place, okay? So everybody, we're just gonna jog in place a little bit. And the reason we're jogging in place is just to get our muscles loose again. It's good, it's really important. You know, as we're working out here today, working out is so important. It's important to get your exercise, but just as important as, as getting your exercise is having a healthy diet. And healthy diet is comprised of a lot of things, but the two things I wanna to highlight today are fruits and vegetables. So when it's important, we should try to eat around five different fruits a day and five different vegetables a day. Now you might be sitting there and asking yourself, what is a fruit, what's a vegetable? Fruits are things like apples or, Austin, can you name some? Uh, you know what? You just named one that I had on my lunch today. Oh my goodness, that's good. So apples are great. Uh, some other options include grapes, strawberries, blueberries, bananas, oranges, peaches, anything that's kind of got uh, kind of a little bit, not like a lot of sugar, but fruit has natural sugar in it. That's good, yeah. So fruit has kind of all the kind of natural sugars in it. And actually there's an old saying that fruit is nature's candy. Fruit is nature's because candy. it comes right off the trees. There you go, that's good. And then some vegetables that you can eat, things like broccoli or salad or different things like that. Uh, can you think of uh, maybe carrots would be a good one, celery. Peppers, did you name that one? Or peppers, red, yellow, orange peppers. Those are really good for you, okay? So just as important as exercise is eating a healthy diet and make sure today, my encouragement to you, on this Fit Friday, get those fruits and veggies in, okay? 
All right, good deal. Okay, we can stop jogging here. That was good. Okay, now we're gonna do one last toe touch stretch. So everybody, toes pointed forward, about shoulder width apart. We're gonna hold it for 15 seconds. Here we go, everybody down, ready? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. Okay, all right. Grab your partner again or grab that wall. We're gonna do another quad stretch as we cool down here, ready? So put your one leg up, ready? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. Okay, so we're gonna switch sides here a minute. Here we go. Last cool down stretch here. Other leg up, try to put that heel toward your butt here. And we go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. Good job, everybody. All right, this has been an amazing Fit Friday. Thank you for joining us. Join us next week as we come back. We'll be back with you for another Friday of fitness. All right, we'll see you later, guys.